Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 15 beta 6 and that's just one week after the release of beta 5 which means that now we're on the one week release cycle which was two before now it's one and you can expect that to happen until iOS 15 gets released to the public. Now we're going to talk all about that later on this video, but first of all, let's talk about the huge new changes that iOS 15 beta 6 brings to iOS and it's really amazing. A lot of people have been requesting this, have been waiting for this and now it's here. So let's first take a look at iOS 15 beta 6 and see what's that big new change. All right, so first of all, let's just go quickly through the details here. So iOS 15 beta 6 should come to your device at around 800 megabytes. That's what I got right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and you should get somewhere around that size. Of course, that will be different on different devices and based on which actual software you have currently installed on your device. Now let's see right here the build number. So the build number for beta 6 is 19A. 5325F. That's the new build number for iOS 15 beta 6. And now let's move on to the big change. Now, of course, with iOS 15, a big change, maybe the biggest, was on Safari. But now we have another big change on Safari as well. So you can see this right here now has been redesigned. Let me just go ahead and go right here to the light mode. Now on the light mode, it looks much better right here, how it has been redesigned. And now it just shows all the content here and it shows this above the website. Now, this is a change that has happened with beta six and I really don't like this at all. Maybe the older one was even better, beta five I mean. So right here you can see this new design when switching between tabs here. And it will have of course the 3D touch here which shows you the menu from where you can go ahead, copy and paste, voice search and do all that usual stuff. You will have also the refresh button right there. Now this has completely been redesigned with beta six, but now we have also a new option and that's the big deal with beta six. So on beta six, you can actually go to settings, go to Safari and right here, you will have the view to choose to use on Safari. So you can choose any view you want here. So you have single tab and that will actually place the address bar right there at the top. And it looks amazing. Just like on iOS 14, we have been waiting and maybe some even praying for this. And now it's here and I really love it. Now, of course, you can 3D touch there. You get the same menu. You will have the refresh bar right there at the top as well. Now we get some other options here as well. So let's just go back. So you have landscape tab bar so this is really interesting now let's just disable that and see how it looks on the landscape mode so you can see this is the landscape mode you can see how it looks but if we enable right there the tab bar so let's just find this so here we have the landscape tab bars and you can see now how it looks you have the tab bars right there on the landscape mode and that's actually pretty pretty cool so what else we got here so under this menu you can go ahead and also choose here allow website tinning you will have under this menu also the open links option and also the close tabs option they're all under this tab section that has been added to the settings of safari on ios 15 beta 6. And that's the good new feature of iOS 15 beta 6, which will change everything on Safari and bring back the old look that most people love. But there are not only good things with this beta. There is a very bad thing and that's that Apple has disabled SharePlay. So SharePlay, the cool new feature that allows to share things through FaceTime, maybe to share your screen, share a movie or music. It has been disabled with beta 6 and it will be disabled until further releases of iOS 15. So on the initial release on iOS 15 in September, when it gets released to the public, we won't get share play. So Apple said that that will be enabled later on, probably maybe like 15.1 or 15.2. That's the timeline for that feature to be enabled again. So that was quite a huge feature and Apple paid attention a lot to that feature during WWDC 2021. But it looks like after five betas on beta six, they have decided to disable that feature and bring it back later on. 
Performance wise, iOS 15 beta 6 is pretty much the same as beta 5 and beta 4. Pretty much every version of iOS 15 here has been really consistent with per performance here. According to Geekbench, we get 1,601 on the single core score and we get 4,092 on the multi-core score. That's pretty much the same as the other betas. The performance has been basically very very consistent since the release of beta 1 of ios 15. now when talking about battery life of course we cannot talk about it for beta 6 but we can talk about it for beta 5 and of course the past betas it has been like quite good maybe not the greatest of course these are still betas but it has been quite consistent and very very stable now let's go ahead and talk about the new betas and the final release of ios 15. now as you can see now with the release of beta 6 we're getting on the one week release cycle which means that we will see new betas every week now what i expect here to happen is apple to release new betas every week that will happen most likely on tuesdays like it happened today or maybe even wednesdays maybe even mondays that will basically happen but it will be one week so you can expect beta 7 then beta 8 and then you can expect right here maybe on the 8th you can expect beta 9 and if things go as planned and as i believe they will go you can expect the rc version to be released somewhere around the second week of september that's the release candidate and then we should see a final release just before the new iPhones get to the public, the iPhone 13 or the 12S, whatever they decide to call it, it should be somewhere around here. So if the iPhones go to the public, go on sale, basically they will be shipped out on the 24th. You can expect Apple to release the iOS 15 to the public on 23rd, maybe even 22nd. So you can expect, as I said, the RC version, not this week, but maybe right here, just after the presentation of the new iPhones, Apple usually releases the release candidate of the software. So that should be right here. So if Apple holds the event on the 14th or 15th, that day they will also release the RC version of iOS 15 before releasing it to the public a day or two before the release of the new iPhones. So that's basically what I expect to happen and that should be the timeline for the release of the new betas, the release candidate and the final version of iOS 15. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead subscribe for more, leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one.